Hello, my name is Stefan and today I will show you how to set up a secure SFTP server on Linux where you can transfer from any client in the world securely uh, files to. Since um, SFTP is basically a regular FTP tunneled within an SSH tunnel. And to set up such a server, I have prepared um, a virtual machine here, which is just a yeah, uh, Debian Linux server, but shouldn't really matter. Uh, which server you're using. Um, we're going to connect to this server uh, via SSH. So we can set that uh, SFTP server up on this machine and connect from this client that you see in the foreground here to it then later using FileZilla or any FTP program. That of course supports SFTP, which is basically any program. So I have this server here, call it Santa and I can connect to the server uh, via SSH. So and once we're logged into the server, we already should have installed an um, open SSH server, obviously, otherwise we couldn't connect using SSH anyway. So and what we are going to do is to first have a look at the um, SSH config, um, which is the SSH sshd underscore config file and within this file um, you can basically have any option enabled that you want or not if you're going to use um, key authentication you obviously need an authorized keys file and um, this public pub key authentication enabled but that doesn't bother us too much at this point we're going to scroll down in this file till we find this entry subsystem SFTP which basically enables this SFTP server so on this server there's already basically this SFTP server enabled but still we're going to comment out this line and replace it by something that we do ourselves um, so we'll basically um, type this in here and no, actually we can um, use that internal SFTP line here, which is basically the same as the line above. I can just remove that line here. And the next things we're going to do all relate to this subsystem SFTP section here. So we're going to define a few, let's say, policies or restrictions to that SFTP which um, most importantly is we are restraining the, we're restricting the group that has access to this service and we're calling that group FTP access and we'll later create this group, add users to it and these users will then have access to this SFTP server. We're also creating a ch root directory. Um, this is the secure place on our server where we're later going to put our user content in so we create a um, secure directory that is owned by the root user and within this directory we grant users access to specific subfolders. I'm going to do that by specifying a location called I'm calling chroot in the root directory and within <coughs> this directory I'm going to um, set a parameter or a variable um, percentage u which stands for the username which means um, we're going to create um, a directory within chroot that it has a username as every user and we're granting permissions to that so the user can upload we're also going to disable x11 forwarding which is absolutely um, not required to use x11 which is a graphical interface uh, to be used on this SSH server here. We're also going to allow allow TCP for well, it's kind of a little bit early today so excuse my typing skills. We're also going to force command internal SFTP which means uh, this users here in this section cannot execute anything else besides SFTP commands. So that's more or less about it. What you need to set up in this sshd config file to have a secure SFTP server. 
in this section here there's also this use PAM setting commented in which you will want if you doing any specific yeah more interesting authentication um, we're just going to leave this file and uh, restart the SSH server to see if we're having oh we're actually having an error in here is not allowed within a match block so we have to go down here again and um, yeah, I guess just remove that line here and restart the server again. Um, what the next thing we're going to do is obviously create a ch root direction. So I'm going to um, mkdir um, ch root. And I'm also going to um, mkdir minus p, um, a subdirectory already that I call tom, which will later be the direct the username for my user called tom, obviously. So um, what we're um, going to do is have a quick look at the permissions of this ch root directory. Obviously, it should be owned by root. Um, so what we're going to need in this tom directory is for example a folder called uploads and since this directory is currently also owned by the root user we're going to change its permissions so the um, tom user of the group FTP access can later upload into this directory and we're going to do that by changing the permissions so tom owns it. So we're going to see a change the ownership um, to Tom FTP access, which we probably can't do since we haven't created a group yet. But um, that's how it should look like. Yeah. So we having we have to do uh, have to create this user and group first. So I'm going to do that now. So I'm add user Tom in group access shell um, we want to set the shell to user has been no login or it could be user bin false I think it shouldn't really matter so um, at least this guy should have no access so we can create this uh, can add Tom to this group obviously because we haven't created it yet so we're going to group add access first and then we're repeating this command here give it a password one two three four one two three four obviously you shouldn't do that in your production environment but I'm guessing you're yeah knowing what you're doing anyway um, since you're watching this video and only obviously smart and cool people watch this sort of videos so yeah Anyways, um, we've created this user Tom, we've created a group, and now we can set these permissions here. So Tom of the group FTP access owns that folder here. So let's have a look again. That's how it should be. We sh can also grant the FTP access group permissions to write this folder, which would allow other users of this group then to put files into Tom's folder which yeah is, some people might want or not anyways let's continue with this um so basically we've set up all the permissions already we've got to use a tom and uh, let's see what happens if i'm taking my filezilla here which i've installed on my client and try to connect to this ftp site um yeah just call it center or whatever your name it uh, name you wish to name it then uh, it's the host center port 22, which is the default port. Uh, we're setting the SFTP file transfer protocol and use a normal log on type with the user Tom, password 1234. So let's see if we're getting an error message once we're connecting. So the first time you're connecting to a new server, you're getting a uh, fingerprint presented so you can add it to your trust uh, chain or whatever that's called and we're already connected and as you saw 
it was pretty simple to actually um, create this SFTP server. Let's try to create a directory within this folder, which we should not be able to. Yeah, we got our permission denied. This is a secure SFTP location. It's owned by root and we can't write to it. But within our subfolders, uh, within our uploads directory, we should be able to um, upload something. Let's say this send OS file here. Let's upload this two megabyte PDF file and it's already there. Um, so you see it's actually working and it's working well. Um, you could obviously repeat this process and add, create more users, add them to the same S FTP access group and they all should be ha having access. Um, so in the next video we're going to have a look at how we can um, yeah, tighten this secure SFTP location a little bit so it's going to be secure on the web. Um, and yeah, so let's go on from there. Have a nice day and talk to you later. Cheers.